Hi there, I'm Ray Vieta, and this is News for Now on this bitter cold Wednesday, December 18th. Speaking of cold, let's talk about the weather. If you thought today was chilly, just wait. Storm Team 4 is tracking the coldest air of this season. With winds, it will feel like the single digits tomorrow morning. Now the news. Rapper Takashi69 just found out he'll spend about another year behind bars. 69, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, was sentenced on racketeering and other charges this morning. The judge handed down a two-year sentence, but gave him credit for the more than 13 months he's already spent in jail. When he was arrested, he faced 47 years to life, but he got leniency for flipping on his old gang, the Nine Trey Bloods. He helped the feds so much that fans were speculating he might even get time served. But the judge said his conduct was just too violent to get out of prison now. We also saw a softer side to the rapper at the hearing today. He offered to pay the medical bills for a woman who was hit in the foot during a shooting he ordered. He also apologized through tears for his role in the gang, saying, I was weak. I was easily influenced. I can't believe that was me. There is no apology good enough. And he was visibly shaken after seeing his biological father in the hearing room, telling the judge he hadn't seen his dad since he was in the third grade. I love him so much, said I miss you. 6 9 is expected to be released from custody in late 2020. Remember that Amber Alert on your phone on Tuesday? NYPD detectives are looking into the possibility it was all a lie. They're investigating if a 16-year-old staged her own kidnapping with her boyfriend's help. A 15-hour-long search came to an end yesterday when Carol Sanchez was spotted on the same Bronx street where she'd been taken. Shocking video was released by the NYPD of the teen being grabbed by two men and shoved into a car Monday night. The NYPD says the investigation is ongoing, but they're not trying to track down any suspects at this point. Police in the Bronx need your help finding these guys. They're accused of breaking into an apartment in Morris Heights, then threatening two women inside. Police say the suspects ransacked the apartment and made off with $1,200 in cash, two cell phones, and jewelry. Finally, YouTube's top earners of the year have been revealed, and let's just say it really pays to be a kid. Forbes says eight-year-old Ryan Kaji made 26 million bucks off his channel where he unboxes toys. That's the most of anybody. Dude Perfect came in at number two, but five-year-old YouTuber Nastia was in third with 18 million bucks in earnings. Rhett and Link and Jeffree Star rounded out the top five. That's all for news for now, but keep watching for the latest on the House's historic impeachment vote. I'm Ray Vieta. Thanks for watching.